Um, All right, now bring. Give me oh. my first question. Here, yay hand. <laughs> In the give me this. Give me the second question. <laughs> give me the second Damn. question. Oh my god, this is falling apart. Oh, thank you. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? A wanderer. Hmm. Hmm. I would go to Hawaii. Why Hawaii? I think because first, you're still in the United States, the best country in the world. Second, Hawaii is just an awesome state. Like, it has all these beaches and it's really, it's actually like whatever it is. Like, oh, you know, I would fundamentally disagree with you. I would love to go to the Batangas in the Philippines. I think, I don't think you've been to a beach unless you've been there. Like that's like the best fucking place what on earth. What are you earth. talking about? I love, when you go to Hawaii, you see that guy from Lilo and Stitch who can't eat his ice cream, whoever he's about to get it, then it just falls over and you see that guy and then your life's complete. I would disagree. I think you, you don't, should, I'll, don't take, I'll take, I'll take you to the beaches in the Philippines, man. They'll change your life. Okay. Yeah. All right, <laughs> let's go to the next question. Ooh, thank you. That was so rude. All right, how can I convince my older brother to let me win at Mario Kart? I'm 11, give me a break. <laughs> no, no breaks, get good. God damn. So no, I'm, <laughs> I've learned a couple tactics in Mario Kart. One of them is if you, the other, your opponent doesn't have a remote, he can't play. So I recommend it's like God, ta, ta, knocking that remote up, bam, yeah. hitting it with a karate chop, he's done. He has to go pick that up, and in the meantime, you're racing past. And while he, and so if you knock it down to the ground, he's gonna have to bend down. That's when you kick him in the face. So then, then he's like falling down to the ground. So now he has even more time. He has to get up. Now your brother, he's been bullying you for all these years. He's out of the game. You're gonna mm. finally beat him. You're the man of the household now. Yeah, that's is that? Well, no, you're an only child. I'm an you? only child, so I wouldn't know what that's like. See, I'm the older brother. You know. I know all the dirty. You're tricks. an older brother. I'm an older brother. Isn't that something? You have a you have a younger brother. I have a little sister. Oh well, you so your little sister would do that to you? No, I won't let her win. Ah. Uh, yeah, get good. Well, that's how you do it, Joe's little sister. Just like kick him in the face, karate chop his remote, and you'll beat him. Mm, I don't think she'll take advice from you, but okay. What is the easiest meal to make when you forgot that you had guests coming over in 15 minutes? No spaghetti. Oh, god damn, no spaghetti. Uh, That's no always a rush. Spaghetti. Dude, just whip up them SpaghettiOs. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll say some crafts, mac and cheese. We actually have a video you can yeah. look in our YouTube channel. It's called Cooking Time Macaroni. I recommend following. It's an eight minute video. So you have 15 minutes left. Those eight minute video will teach you how to make it. Yeah. Boom, you have that, you have that ready for your entire family that's coming over. And in the meantime, you have like a great list of YouTube videos you can watch over your family once they <laughs> arrive. Yeah. So we can get more views. Or if you have like a lot of cereal, just like make trail mix or something. I like cereal. Yeah. And I think good. cereal in a bowl with milk isn't a bad meal. No, totally. That's what I eat every day. Yeah. It's, with it's... peanut butter sandwiches. Uh, see, I can't, I can't follow through with that. Oh, right. You're yeah. allergic to bread. Allergic. Sorry, dude. <laughs> right. It's all right. <laughs> all right. Let's get to the next question. Oh, wow. Thank you. That's no, okay. Stay as long as you want. Back up. I don't like your days of bald form. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. How do you deal with unhealthy stress during midterms? I can't eat any more chocolate. Hmm. Mm. <sighs> well, I have a bad problem of not studying for my midterms, so that usually helps out. So, I don't have to. I don't have to stress over them if. I never worry about them. <laughs> but then, like, whenever you're taking the test, that's when you stress and that's when it becomes bad. So you should study beforehand to get the stress out of the way. So when you're at the test, you're not stressing because that's just going to waste your time during the test. So it is, it's okay to stress before that test. I think, I think a way to deal with, I think a way to deal with stress during midterms is to like maybe plan a little potluck, a little get together with friends, you know, and you all have a mm -hmm. good goofy time, and, right. you know, and when one of your friends uh -huh. and they fall asleep on the right. couch, which you'd whip out a Sharpie and uh -huh. do, you, know, right. you just take That's it, you just take, you just idea. take out all of your unhealthy stress oh on that God. poor <laughs> face. The guy who fell asleep. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like the, whoever's friends would do that are betraying their friend. That doesn't help with your stress. Well, but all of those other people are pretty stress-free. Well, I I guess yeah, I guess Spock would say, you know, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the one. Are there any more questions, Kyrie? No? And no. All right, well, if we have two dimensions of Kyrie, so that's the end of our show.
Thanks for watching. It's been AJ Talks. <laughs> the undershirt edition. No, you've insulted me too much. Wow, so demeaning. Hey, yeah, come on. Where's your mallet? Get your mallet. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Where's your hand, <laughs>